If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So I'm gonna be showing you guys several things in this video. The first thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is how you guys could go about getting all your strategy cards for free and possibly making millions, if not millions, hundreds of thousands of coins because some of these strategy cards can be legendary, which I'm gonna show you guys right now and give you a full breakdown. Another thing I'm gonna show you guys is how you guys could possibly have 110K coins in your item binder and you guys didn't even know it. And the reason why I say that is because I didn't even know it. I didn't quick sell this yet. I saved it. I'm going to hold on to it. But some of you guys may not care and might want to quick sell it. So I'm going to be showing you guys that right now. Also, if you guys can, please drop a like on the video. What that does is it helps get this video out to other people also like this information. And if you haven't yet, please hit that like button. That's, I mean, please hit that subscribe button, that notification bell right next to it to get notified each and every time I upload a video. So check this out, right? I got 25 unopened packs. A lot of them are the strategy items. I've been saving them up for you guys to show you guys how I go about getting them for free. It will be, uh, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna take a little bit of time. I'm gonna open them all up, but I wanna show you guys so you guys don't think I'm doing nothing funny or anything like that because the only reason how you guys get those packs is through, um, it is, is by getting them for free. So let's go to the seasons. A lot of you guys know this already, but I like to show you guys. Go to daily, see, by completing your dailies, which I got to do the day before it ends because I'm doing all my daily objectives. All you got to do is complete one daily objective. Like if you purchase a pack from the store, you're going to be at, where is it at? Here, complete one daily objective. You're going to get a random strategy item. So that strategy item could be a common all the way up to a legendary. I pulled the legendary a few times, but I got plenty of epics and I got plenty of rares. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna open up all these packs. I'm gonna do this first, and then when I go to my item binder, then I'm gonna we're gonna complete the sets and all that stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys that 110k coins that you guys probably didn't know you guys had. So look, I got um, 18 um, 18 rare. I mean, 18 strategy items. What could be common or higher? A rare one, another rare one, and I think that's it. So this rare one came from grind out solos. This other rare one came from I think the competitive pass or the season pass but whatever the case may be these are uh free st uh, strategy cards that i got from grinding out the game so let's open up all these little common or common or higher cards so this is a common one which you know we're going to be pulling them more so than anything but believe it or not i pull i pull I, I usually pull quite a bit of rare and like i said once in a while I pull an epic or or a legendary so that's it Oh, why 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 is it gotta do it when I do the video? Like when I do these by myself, like when I open them up, there was a time I opened up all of them just so I can show you guys the video and just get it hurry up and get it done. But the reason why I'm doing it like this is because you guys can actually see what I'm doing. And I'm not doing like you guys can actually see that I'm I'm showing you guys. There's no like funny stuff going on. But uh nothing yet. I mean I guess you can't expect to get nothing right away, but there's times when I got a rare within the second pool. But we'll, we'll see what's going on. Maybe they lower down the juice pack. Look at, oh my goodness. There's no reason to even look at it. Oh, so there it is there. So we got an uncommon. I forgot about the uncommon one. So we, we start off with the uncommon. It's, it's getting a little bit better. And what I do with these, whether it's common or uncommon, whatever the case may be, I put them into the sets and I see what I can pull out of them. I already have other strategy cards in my item binder that I got for free that, that been opened up, which you're gonna see right now in a second. So I'm gonna add them to this. All my strategy items besides like three of them, I, um, I got them all for free. Matter of fact, I got rid of like eight strategy items that I just had in there that I've been had. And it, it was over like 900 and something K. I would have saved them, but the only reason I did not is because I want to show you guys how I was able to get this stuff. And you guys are seeing me open up these packs. So the few ones that I have in my item binder, I think I have like a common or a rare. I don't know. But I have like I have a few of them in there. Alright, so that's an uncommon. And these are all free. I just let them stack stack up. I don't quick sell them. I don't do anything yet. Just to see what I I could pull once I get them all together. Oh, yeah, that's a rare one. Look at that. That's a rare one. We're getting better. 
And I know some some people, I mean, so quite a few people still use strategy cards. And even if you have 99 golds, you can still use strategy cards because they'll boost up certain stats. But honestly, I use a lot of these strategy cards just for, to me, it's, it, it's, it's to get my team up to a 99, which I got it. But once I get up to a 99, I probably will use it for certain stats, but I don't know how effective it will be, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So this is going to be, what is this? A team one right so it doesn't matter which one i'm just gonna pick one because i'm gonna put them into a set anyway so it really don't matter which one it is but if for some for for instance someone may be going higher than others you guys want to sell it you guys go ahead and do that but it's very rare that a lot of them really go for a lot of a lot more coins so let's go ahead and back out now we're gonna go to the sets the first thing i'm gonna show you guys will be that item that i have in my buyer that quick sells for a hundred and 110k that I didn't know about. It is a strategy item that I didn't know that I that, that, that I didn't even know even quick sell because I never seen them quick sell for that much. The first one was this. I clicked on this and then I was like, okay, this is four 4k coins. I was like, okay, well if that quick sells, what about this one? So anybody who has a Super Bowl ring who was able to get in complete the set, just so you guys know, it does quick sell. I didn't know that until I, I was just experimenting. I was like, let me go see how much this goes for. Look at that, 110K coins that I didn't even know that I actually had. I'm gonna hold on to it for now because maybe later on I might need it because it does apply to all my players besides the last two um, number one stats. But besides that, I'm gonna hold on to it. But if I do need coins, I go ahead and quick sell it. But for those who don't care, you guys just wanna quick sell it. If you got that, it quick sells for 110K coins. So I didn't know about it until I was just going through my strategy items and I was clicking on to see what quick sell. And then I ran into that. And that's what happened. Maybe other people know about it. I'm pretty sure someone does, but I didn't know about it at that time when I discovered it. Now I know. So, bro, why does it do that for? I put strategy in. Whatever. So when it goes, when you go to strategy, it only says it only says one. So just go to core team items. It'll, it'll be right here. So you got legendary. You got rare. Okay, so. All those cards that we have, we're gonna start completing sets with them. So we got a we got a rare one. I mean, we're gonna be able to complete rare one just with the uncommon ones. We with the common ones or common ones. Um, so here's a rare one right here. You're gonna see how I go about doing it. So it really don't matter which rare one it is because I I, I want to be able to do a legendary one. So we got these uncommon ones in here and these uncommon. I mean, yeah, these uncommon, uh, common and uncommon. So. You need six common ones to get an uncommon one. All right, open it up. So let's back out. Yeah, once I start getting into the legendary or epic, we'll go ahead and I'll show you guys. It really don't matter about these little generic ones that I'm pulling right here. But you guys have seen it here, how, how I go about getting all these for free. Easy as this. I let it stack up. I don't even touch them. I let them stack up. And then I wanted to make sure I do a video this time so you guys can actually see how I do it. Because I always tell you guys I get all my strategy cards for free. And I know some of you guys are like, how do you do this? How do you do that? So for those who always ask, this is how I do it. So now I got all those uncommon ones. I put them into the rare set. And then the rare cards, I'm going to go ahead and exchange it into the epic. And then epics to the legendary. And this is all free. So that was it. I was able to do one unco uncommon one. I mean, one rare one. So these are, here we go. We got epic. Look at, we got epic right here. I might have, I should have one or two. So we'll go ahead and check out these because I know some people will still use these epic cards. We'll still see what we pull out of here. And I know some people were like, well, you know, you could go and buy them and auction house is cheaper if you want like a specific card. You can. You can do that, but here's the thing. I like doing these sets because there's some um, strategy items that are going for quite a bit. So I'd rather take my chance here and I'm not really losing nothing. And then later on, I mean, if I do pull something, I'm good. If I don't, then, um, oh, well, I could just quick sell the items and go buy it if I really wanted to. You see, I already pulled two Epic and I got another Epic right here. Look at that. Just based on the stuff that I had already. I just, I just pulled, I mean. So we got okay, that, that's actually a good one people still use that one so i'm going to be able to do one legendary set i don't think i have two ep um four four epics but i do got two epics so you guys are going to see 
So already off the top, I already made close to what, to like 200K? That's not even including the other 110K coins that I showed you guys. But we'll see right here. All right. And the trenches. This one, we'll see how much this is going for. It might be going for more than the card goes for. 140. So you will make a little profit off this, maybe like 10K, 20K. But still though, that's pretty good. Guarantee 110K coins. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. I'll quick sell later on. Oh, so I do. Oh no, I only got one. So if I would have had two different, I only got one. So that's already, we'll say about like most close to 200K. 300K if you want to include that Super Bowl ring. But that's how I go about getting my strategy card for free. And look, it's free coins. If you guys want to go ahead and do that, or you guys could use a strategy card. And whenever you guys need coins, just go ahead and quick sell it whenever you don't need it no more. So anyways, there it is there. That's how I go about getting all my strategy cards for free. If you guys like seeing what we see, drop a like on the video. Until next time, I'm out.